Have we forgotten the purpose of our lives? Sometimes we think we exist just to have a good time. So we indulge in satisfying our lusts and desires. Even if it means becoming hypocrites, thieves, and liars. We forget the sole purpose Allah created our souls. It is to worship Him alone until they bury our bones. Never faltering, never shifting away from our Iman. Remaining true to Allah as best as we can. But beyond this belief in our hearts comes our actions. Balancing obedience to Allah and appeasing satisfactions. What is a Muslim who forgets the commands of his religion? One who is blinded by dunya and lost all vision. Have we forgotten that we have one of two destinations? Hell is for the transgressors and Jannah is for the patient. In this test we can enjoy ourselves and be pleased with our lives. But the reason we live is to worship Allah. And this will not change until we die. In the sorrow and regret of the most horrific of days, we would wish to return to dunya only to change our ways. A day on which we beg Allah on our hands and our knees, return us to this dunya so we can salvage our deeds. But nay, you've had your chances and received your warnings. But remember when you slept during the early mornings, when you neglected fajr and didn't keep up with your salah, you were cheap and you were greedy and didn't pay your zakah. You indulged in the obsession of this dunya with the sinners and prevented your own self, the company of the winners. And who might they be if you ask as you listen? The winners are those who answered their Lord in submission. They obeyed Allah and realized life's mission to submit to the one who created you from clay and to fear the most horrifying, detrimental of days. The winners are the ones who enjoined in the worship of their Lord. They kept their covenant with Allah, not breaking one word. Prayer by prayer, day by day, holding firmly to the Qur'an while following the Prophet's way. The best of the Muslims received Jannah's delight because they fasted through the day and prayed to Hajjah through the night. They fulfilled necessary obligations and did more. They kept their loyalty to the one who they lived and died for. Let us all reflect as to how we may be viewed by the sublime. Are we of the hypocrites who don't even pray on time? Of the losers who worship every nickel and dime? Of the animals who don't treat fellow Muslims with respect? Of the enemies of Allah whose commands we neglect? Are we the sinners whose own lives will regret? Or have we devoted ourselves to pursuing paradise? Of the Muslims whose actions are intelligent and wise? Of the noble who tell only truth with no lies? Of the pious who pray every prayer on time? Let us never forget our aim for paradise. We must worship Allah through all of the sacrifice. For those who fall short, Jahannam is their destination. Allah's judgment is most supreme and His is the best of legislation. So ya yeah, Allah, we beg of you to guide us the straight path and we seek refuge with your mercy from the torment of your wrath. Ya Rabb, grant us patience and let us die in submission. Let us realize and succeed in the struggles of life's mission. We are for you and to you we return. So grant us refuge from hellfire's burn. Grant us the peak of Jannah with the prophets, martyrs, and the righteous. For none exceeds you in your generosity, O Lord of kindness. And send your peace and blessings upon he who you've sent to guide us, to make us of the pious, and to bring us out of the blindness. All praise is due to you, Lord of the heavens, the earth, and all that's between. Master of the universe, all knower of the unseen. واتقوا يوما ترجعون فيه إلى الله ثم توفى كل نفس ما كسبت وهم لا يظلمون